There are plans to get the streetcars running again this summer, perhaps by August. The big difference, though, is that Bi-State, which runs our buses and Metrolink, has taken over. It doesn't own the trolley, but it will be in charge of operations. We talked about the plans with Bi-State CEO, Talby Roach. I, I would think you've taken on or been given quite a challenge on this. Yeah, of course. Look, it's a tough project. Uh, there's no doubt about it. But look, we're at about uh, providing solutions at Bi-State Development. We're hoping that we can make this project work. You know the story. Delmar Loop businessman Joe Edwards, he of Blueberry Hill, the Tivoli, the pageant, spent years promoting and pushing the project. A 2.2-mile trolley line built from the University City Library to the Missouri History Museum. It will draw tourists and convention business to St. Louis because it will connect the loop to two Metrolink stations and the 12 million visitors to Forest Park attractions. If a large convention has narrowed its choices to St. Louis, Indianapolis, and Louisville, this trolley project might tip the scale in favor of selecting St. Louis. There were plenty of doubters, plenty of complainers during construction, which hurt businesses, and there were delays, and the cost, more than $50 million. More than half, and this is important, was federal transportation money. The trolley car started running in 2018, but after initial interest, it suffered from low ridership, financial shortfalls, and technical challenges, and never really got fully operational. Finally, a year later, the trolleys stopped running in 2019. Local governments just didn't want to pour any more money into it, but there was the real possibility that the Federal Transportation Administration would want its money back. I know there is a lot of opposition to this, a lot of doubt about taking it on. What's really at stake here? Well, really at, at stake is our reputation. So one of the things that we do at Metro Transit, we work with that same Federal Transit Administration to ask for hundreds of millions of, fund, of dollars of funding for our buses, for our trains. So regionally, we have a reputation that we need to keep up in order that we can compete for federal dollars in the future. Look, I know it's a tough project. I, I will admit that any time. But we need to make it work and be sure that we don't default on the federal grant. What's the business plan? So the business plan is to run this more like a tourist entity, right? Work on weekends. Try to work and enhance what's happening in the loop. The energy and excitement in the, of the loop needs to be enhanced by this, by this asset, not hurt by it. I need to give my team time to evaluate, to analyze those trucks, to be sure that we follow and pass all safety certifications. So likely we'll see the trolley running in August. If you're standing on the platform, please have your tickets ready to be validated. The Loop Trolley will still be owned and paid for by the Loop Trolley Company and its tax district, with Bi-State aiming to match service to revenue. Roach says most likely they'll start with three or four days of operation, focused on weekends and building ridership. Okay, we need to make it work soundly and show up when it should. That I know we know how to do. We're living St. Louis. I'm Jim Kircher.